we got to meet Kevin for the very first time. And Kevin and Kristen went into the game, and Kevin left his backpack behind. And I think it was a really heavy backpack, but we had to move it. And I thought, I thought it was books, right? He was a real studious guy. It wasn't the books. It, these were, it was filled with carving knives. And I'm thinking, oh my God, who is Kristen dating? Kevin explained to us that one of his traditions every year with his father is that they carve pumpkins together. But, and then I thought, wow, this guy really is cool. He's got a great family. He's got respect for his father. And he carries on these traditions. And what more could you want in the summer? Kristen Gabriel, your mother and I are so proud to be your parents. That's <clears throat> where I would do this. And um, we're just blessed that we've been able to share all these memorable experiences with you since you were a child with the pixie short haircut, always having difficulty walking. Seems to be something that we got fixed after about the 11th grade, I think. But you are just such a joy. Your mother and I uh, just are blessed to have you as our child. And obviously we are blessed to have Kevin as well now as our son-in-law. Kevin, Nancy and I want to welcome you to the family with open arms. We love you. And um, I know that Nancy and I would like to start seeing some tall grandsons coming around, or, or grandchildren in the near future. <laughs> I love you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Sorry. Make me laugh here. The best part of my day is waking up next to you every morning. You make me the happiest guy in the world. <sighs> now I'm sure we'll have our challenges, but I promise to be there for you always <laughs> and to calm you down in those stressful situations as my duty calls. I promise to always finish the words of the silly songs you make up. <laughs> I promise to continue to love your family like they're my own, and they make it so easy to do so. Lastly, I promise that there will be way less packages coming to the house once the stay is over. <laughs> Thank you. It's huge. Doing this life with you has been so easy, and I can't wait to spend the rest of it with you. I love you so much. Now let's finally do this thing. Let's do it. Now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss the bride. So Kevin had me in school, had me in sports, and to make things even more unfair, he goes and he meets the best girl in the world, Kristen. Now when Kevin met Kristen about 10 years ago at UMass, I knew he was all in from day one. The way they interacted, the joy and the fun they had with each other, I knew from that night it could definitely be serious. 10 years later, spoiler, prediction came true. And to be honest, I was never competing for a best friend. She is smart. She's fun, she's beautiful, and she makes Kevin a better person in every single way. Kevin, we know that you will always protect Kristen fiercely, pick her up when she falls, because we know it's gonna happen, and love her unconditionally, just as she will do for you. Now I may have taken that a little too far in my role as big sister, completely hovering over Kristen for most of her life, making sure she was okay after completely wiping out which she did quite often. <laughs> Growing up, my family got quite accustomed to hearing a huge crash from the other room and Kristen saying, I'm okay. Whether you're celebrating a special moment in your life or going through a tough transition, Kristen will blow you away time and time again with her thoughtfulness and her generosity. She has such a unique way of making you feel so loved and appreciated. <laughs> It's truly one of her best qualities. 
Nikki and Kristen are the best aunt and uncle to my son, Luca. When my husband Garrett and I first announced that we were expecting, <laughs> Kevin had the sweetest but slightly misguided reaction. <laughs> when he heard, he announced to everyone, I'm gonna be a nephew! 